Hey there, glad to have you tripping along with us today. My name is Gonzo. For you that don't know me, I'm a hillbilly out here in the boonies in Tennessee. And I like to cook around the world. My hobby is every week I'll pick a different state or country and I'll pick a menu and I'll try my hand at cooking from that state or country. And this week we're going to be visiting Guam. Like I said, today we're going to be visiting Guam. So today we're going to be doing some Guam style barbecue beef short ribs, finadini, which is a Guam dipping sauce, a cucumber daigo kimchi salad, some shimato red rice. So to get started today, we've got some marinating to do. So the first thing we need to do for our Guam short ribs, this is what you're going to need. You'll need Asian style cut beef short ribs, about a half pound per person, one cup of apple cider vinegar, one onion sliced very thin, six cloves of minced garlic, and pepper to taste. And for our Shimaro Finadini sauce, we'll need green onions, one whole onion, hot chili peppers, one jalapeno, two serrano chilies, cherry tomatoes, a half cup of soy sauce, and a half cup of apple cider vinegar. And for our cucumber daigo kimchi salad, we'll need 17 ounces of pickled radish, six ounces of kimchi, four cucumbers, and three quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. For our shamaro red rice, we'll need two tablespoons of achiote seeds. Now, because I couldn't find achiote seeds in such a short time, I'm using a substitute, which I use all the time. This is a delicious seasoning and spice right here. It's an achiote condiment, and um, I use this all the time. A half cup of chopped onions, half teaspoon of kosher salt, two tablespoons of good extra virgin olive oil, two cups of rinsed cow rose rice, and four cups of water. Now let's make our marinade for our Guam style beef short ribs. First, we need to chop up some onion. And now we need to add our minced garlic. Add our soy sauce, add our apple cider vinegar, and we'll add some black pepper. And we'll stir this up real good, get those flavors all mixed in there. And so that will be our marinade. Now we'll put our Asian style cut ribs in a plastic bag and we'll pour this marinade right in there on top of them. We'll try to get most of that air out, zip it up, and we'll massage this in. Make sure we get them all in between each one of these ribs. Okay, all right. So now we want to place this in the refrigerator and let them marinate for about at least two hours. And now we've got to prepare our Shimato dipping sauce. We'll start by cutting up our green onions. Now we'll cut up our onion. And now we've got to cut up our serrano peppers. And our jalapeno. We'll slice our jalapeno. We'll cut up our cherry tomatoes. And we'll pour in our soy sauce and our apple cider vinegar. And we'll add our chili peppers. We'll stir this up. Stir this up nice. Get all those flavors incorporated together. Start working together. And now we'll wrap this with some saran wrap and we'll refrigerate this until we get ready to eat our meal. Okay, and now let's go ahead and make our cucumber daigo kimchi salad. To do that, we need to cut up our cucumbers. Cut 
We'll need to peel our cucumbers. Okay, and now we want to add, cut up our kimchi. that to our bowl. Now we're adding our pickled radish and our vinegar. Now we'll stir this up, incorporate all those flavors. Now we'll cover this with some cling wrap and we'll refrigerate this until we eat. Okay and now it's time to prepare our chamarro red rice. We'll start by dissolving our achiote paste in two cups of hot water. Okay, so now in a small pot, we want to add our achiote powder sauce. Now we're going to bring our achiote water to a boil, and then we're going to add two more cups of water and two cups of our cow roast rinsed rice. Now that we come to a boil, we're going to add our other two cups of water and our two cups of rice. Stir this in. Now we want to add our onions. Our olive oil. And we'll give this a good stir. Make sure you don't burn the bottom. You got to continue to stir because this will burn. You don't want it to burn. Once we get it bubbling a little bit, then we'll turn the heat down to medium. Now we'll add our salt. Like I say, continue to stir. Okay, now that we've got it coming to a boil, we want to turn this down to about medium, and we'll sit here and continue to stir this for about five more minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes, so now let's turn this down to low. Stir it for a minute, let the temperatures get down. Now we'll turn this down to low. We'll put our top on there and we'll let this sit there and simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we've got our cucumber daigo kimchi salad in the refrigerator marinating. We've got our dipping sauce marinating. We've got our chamarro red rice back here simmering. So now let's go out and heat the grill. Okay, so now we're out here at my favorite spot, my grilling area. And uh, so this is where I make it happen. Okay, so we'll be cooking our Guam style beef short ribs just like we would a steak. So we want our fire right here in the center. Uh, we, they'll, they're cut pretty thin, so we'll be cooking them pretty quick, just like you would a normal steak. Yep, roosters, that's part of the country. But anyway, so we're going to get our fire started, get this thing preheated, and we'll let this get ready, and then we'll come out and get, on, get our ribs on. Okay, so we'll let this go and get our coals good and ashed over, and then we'll come out and we'll start grilling up some ribs. Okay, so now our fires are good and ashed over. They're ready to grill. So now we're gonna go ahead and set our steaks on there. What I love about Asian style steaks is the fact that they, they cut them crossways with the bones. So that way the bone marrow can mix in with the meat flavors. And it is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Now these are cut thin, so you don't want to overcook them. Just like any other, uh, just like you'd like your steak. That's how you want to cook them. We'll give them a couple minutes on each side. And that's about all I'm going to want. I like them good and tender and juicy. Look at that. See that bone marrow right there? Oh, bone marrow sitting there and...
Give that one just a little bit more and we'll be ready to pull these off. I love Asian cut ribs. Okay, so these are ready. Now it's time to go plate it all up. Okay, so now we're back in the kitchen. Let me tell you something, this smells so good. So now I'm excited about getting this plated up. So let's do that. Start off with some of our rice. Then we'll plate our Guam style beef rib over that. And we'll plate our cucumber salad right there. And now we'll put our dipping sauce. And we'll pour a little of our dipping sauce there. And just a hair here. And we'll finish that off with just a little bit of cilantro. And there we have it. Guam style barbecue spare ribs. We've got our cucumber daigo kimchi salad. We've got our shimado dipping sauce. We've got our shimado red rice. And all together, we've got a delicious meal from Guam. Okay, so here we are, my favorite part. Now let's taste it. Oh yeah. Dip in the sauce. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, that's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's fantastic. Try the little rice. Mmm. That is delicious. All these flavors together are just unbelievable. A little of that kimchi with my cucumbers. Oh. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today as much as I have. This is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, my friends from Guam, for setting me up with this delicious meal. And uh, I thank you for being here with us today. Also, do me a favor and check out my Facebook group called Trippin' with Gonzo. Everything I do every week from around the world, I got pictures, recipes, everything's right there. And we'd like to see what you're doing. So we'd love to have you. And until next time, thank you for Trippin' with Gonzo.